Okay, and hello and welcome to session three of class number three. Actually, this is my favorite session because the number three is my favorite number. So it's <laughs> three and three. So here we go. Types of memory. Okay, we're going to talk about types of memory today. And we're going to do the second half today of episodic memory. So let's delve a little deeper into what this means. So episodic memory, as we discussed before, it has to be personal, right? Very highly visual, very sen right, sensory oriented. I, I would like to say audio visual has to do with sight and sound, okay? But what I really want to grasp, I want you to grasp now, is the, the effect of the frontal lobe. So let's read. Let's start with this, cortical areas. This is where we are. So cortical areas, episodic memories that activate the areas originally involved in the experience that is being recalled. If it was a visual experience, then which lobe is that? Occipital lobe. If it's an auditory experience, temporal lobe. But check this out. Get ready for this. The hippocampus is going to be involved. Here we go. <laughs> the hippocampus, right? Events are turned into memories there. So what is happening is that event is now encoded in the brain again, that concept of encoded info packs. And now that basically goes into the subconscious brain, okay? But most of episodic memory is actually conscious. Most of it is actually con I want you to catch that. So the hippocampus is still communicating, but it's not the main actor when it comes to episodic memories. So main actor is the frontal lobe. We got to it, we got it, we made it to this point. <laughs> the frontal lobe, what, this one checks out. Activity here ensures that the episodic memories are not mistaken for real life. This is so important, I cannot emphasize enough. Do you understand, if your brain mistakes memories for real life, that can shut your brain down? Do you understand that? So now you basically, you're getting up, you're, you basically get up in the morning and you're like, wait, am I really here? Okay, hold up, for some reason, I have a memory of being somewhere else. Is that where I am right now? Or, so what is reality? What is, re <sighs> so we are talking now about what? Mental illnesses. You get me? The frontal lobe keeps you separating reality. This is what is happening now. This is actually happening versus, oh, this is a memory from the past. This happened before, for, it's right? Kind of like leave it alone for now. If we, if we need to get the memory back, we'll get it. We'll reconstruct it and what have you. But for right now, you're living a life live. And you don't want to mix up the two. It's like literally living in a dream. You get me? You're literally living in a, in a dream. So there are people who do have those issues. An episodic memory, because it is damaged, because the frontal lobe may be damaged, you end up with having problems with personality, with reality, with actually you know, functioning daily because you don't know if your next step is gonna be off a cliff <laughs> or is it gonna be walking on the street or walking with a friend where you're not sure what is really going on, what is real and what is not. That's very powerful. You would think that you know, that comes so naturally, but if you damage certain centers of the brain, especially the frontal lobe, you, you have the risk of mistaking a memory for something that is actually happening. Okay, so now to summarize, episodic memory helps the brain to know that this encoded info pack is a reconstructed memory and it's not real life. Very important to understand. So I'll see you in the next session. <laughs>